Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, ben? Ah, uh-huh. I've been caught off guard by being asked how my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! went. Uh, Tuesday that was fun. question that we ask every week? Yeah, Tuesday was really fun. Um, I played Vikings. Mm-hmm. Tuesday locals itself got really confusing. Yeah, there were a lot of more draws than what we're used yeah, to. Yeah, there were like a few draws that messed the standings completely, and it was the winner event for Fire Kings, the play the, the map. Yeah. So like, I was undefeated in the last round, but I had a draw on my record. But then there were like three undefeateds in the final round. Yeah, it was oh, weird. It was weird. Yeah, but because they were all draws, it fed into like this weird dynamic of X being Y and yeah I ended up coming like third or fourth I think so I didn't get to play that which upset me Sag yeah it's a play that I actually like um, yeah I remember you saying you wanted to win it I don't know whether or not I'll buy one because there's there's just so many other mats I would rather buy over it yeah but especially like, the win would have been is. great but yeah. for the price you can buy you can get mats like, that are probably generally nicer people are trying to sell it for like 150 bucks it's like right that so means many... penis is huge um <laughs> if so this many... got picked up in the microphone if um... so many cops are around why would you even do that so dumb every moron with a commodore every fucking time um Look, we keep our trading card games uh, on the quiet. Uh, maybe not. But we're not out in the streets yelling about card games. I'm like, card We're not enthusiasts. doing dual discs in the middle of the fucking street. Think of how many um, play sets of good cards you can get for that car. Oh, so many. Actually, not that many. It's a Commodore. It's fucking terrible. Anyway. So you're making an odd assumption about the fact that was a Commodore. I am into my cars, and I'm 90% sure that was a Commodore. Mm. What year? I'd say late 2000s. No, not a chance. It was way too dry. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so my week in Yu Gi Oh! How'd we play out? Um, yeah, so Tuesday, weird, didn't get the play mat. Better play mats, because people are trying to charge like 100 or 150. It's like a sneaky play mat. No. Like, for like 200 bucks, you can buy like three of the YCS play mats that I don't have for YCS Australia. Um, but then that moves to today, which was the first day of our uh, ban list charity yes, tourney. The cans Ooh. and bands. Um, so I played, <laughs> I played um, Frog Link, which is Frog FTK going first, going second. You just toolbox your extra deck. Um, except I didn't put a lot of thought into toolboxing my extra deck and no, put access code in, which wasn't legal. Uh, it was bad. But like, so when I was deck building, I was literally just like, I need eight cards in my extra deck for my combo. The other seven can just be link monsters that I make. Yeah. And just threw them all in. Um, so yeah, that was that. Yeah, the deck worked fine, uh, except for the part where I was playing a blind no hand trap must go first deck and I lost every die roll. Yeah, uh, not ideal. Yeah, that uh, that did not work out for me. So yeah, I got some cans, but not all the cans. Brad, how was your week? I built, so last week I was like, oh, I'm gonna build Gate Guardian on Master Jewel and then it took a whole goddamn week it was two hours at one point on one like Wednesday night it might have been I was just sitting there like just trying to go through it find anything went down a few rabbit holes there's a few terrible deck lists on YouTube from notable content creators uh, I'm sure there's a better way but my god it's trash it's it's a bad time but still it's it, it's fun it's it's a fun deck. If nothing else, it catches people off guard because no one reads them. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. you hear for the, like, spider up on the switch on the telly and just, I play a gay guardian card and then it just stops. And they are just, re- they are obviously reading. So much reading. We're on a walk, guys. And, yeah, it a took walk. a while for that game. They yeah, they kept stalling freezer, out. Like, they ended up having, like, a, a pretty big, out, a good swing back against me. I'm like, oh, this is so, not going to go well. Uh, searching. Look, okay, I don't get guys to walk anyway. Yeah, I didn't think it would take a uh, kitchen uh, tour. I left my magician so I, my magician scientist at work, so I wasn't too incentivized. And just yeah, look, uh, I'll go to you and then I'll ask questions about We're today. Back. Cool. 
Uh, so yeah, Tuesday, I uh, was still playing Unchained. Um, I think in my very first round, I versed uh, the Vanquish Soul guy, and the Vanquish Soul guy opens not only every hand trap that he could possibly squeeze into the deck, uh, but also the Fenrir, and also uh, the There Can Only Be One, uh -huh. uh, which in my Fiend Only deck is an issue. Uh. Yeah. Do not say build around it, or I will no, punch I, you upside the head. I was gonna say when we play, <laughs> I played him as well, and like he had every possible card in every scenario, and I was just all like, of them. Cool. Um, so that wasn't ideal, uh, but I think I won the rest of my games. Um, Is he starting Tika? We were ma he's maining. Maining. It's maining, Vanquish yeah. Soul. It's like effectively a staple. Is it, should we maining spell and trap removal at locals if we keep I having those crazies? I just I don't know. So I take the TCB myself. So yeah. it's like. Fine. How many gal galaxy cyclones? Is that what you're on? No, I just have a duster in the main, yeah. and then I've got lightning storms and evenly uh, in the side. And like the deck's already main decking thrust, so I just need him to activate a thing and for me to have the thrust to be able to get rid of those things. Yeah. But it does mean that like you're going through resources that you would ideally not be doing. Yeah, you want to use it for something else, not to deal yeah, with that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, but hopefully upcoming ban list will fix it, please. Um, one of the other two games three unchained cards banned <laughs> yeah look if it if nothing else it just means I'm not only playing a fiend deck anymore so either way the problem solved <laughs> ban list a week away we'll see we'll see hopefully it is about that time next okay. next week the Monday. longer the ban list takes the safer our YCS is true yeah hmm. but I'm also really looking forward to a Christmas ban list when you haven't been talking about it this year. We were so crazy on it last year. Wait. Christmas Day ban list. And it came out on Christmas. So it's fine. It'll come out on Christmas again. Which Christmas? We're approaching the OCG ban list real soon too. They'll tell us Simul when it's coming out. Simultaneous release day. I really appreciate the Oh my god, 2024, we unite back together. Oh, fucking kill me now. And then they're going to release all the products really early. Accelerate us up. Yep. <laughs> We're releasing the next three sets oh, yeah. all next week. Um, and then, yeah, today for Cans and Bands, um, I, for my first deck, because uh, I plan to bring another one for the uh, second version, I will be, I brought today Hawkist. Horus Orcist. I was concerned at first. I wasn't sure how the deck was going to perform. Um, so my first round, oh, who does the first round? You can make, you can hard make ding so much. I was about to put ding in my actual, um, oh, yeah, in, ding, in the, ding for days. Yeah. Um, who does first first? Gotta find it though. Um, I'm struggling to remember who I played first. I can't remember. Um, you had a buy. That, yes, that's why I can't remember who I versed first, because I didn't verse anybody. Uh, so, yeah, first round I had the buy. Second round I versed... Um... Oh, Christ, I'm struggling. I am struggling. In round two you versed Seb. Seb. I versed Seb. Uh, he was playing uh, True Draco with as many floodgates as he could get his hands on, slash I hadn't banned. Um, but didn't see any. Just did not see enough. Against me, he summoned Kaiser Colos he activated Kaiser Colosseum with a tried fucking masterpiece and I was like Game. Yeah, it's not ideal. I lose. Um so yeah, he didn't see nearly enough floodgates. Uh and then there would have been another person I versed. Or was there was there three or four rounds? There was three rounds. Three rounds. So yeah that. Uh then it was what the was? last three rounds. Three rounds. I think so. Okay, so yeah, in the third round it was me versus uh, going second Cyber Dragon, uh, which is a big concern because uh, all of my monsters are machines. Mm -hmm. uh, so his floodgate of turning right. all of my stuff to machines is not a huge problem because all of my stuff's already that. Well, the Horus isn't. Well, the Horus isn't, but like for the most part. Just leave well, what it ended up being was um, because of the freedom of harp, I was able to uh, make standard Orcus board as well as a Boral Savage. Yeah, yeah. So I could negate Absolutely. some stuff, I had the IP and stuff going, it was great. What's your concern? Chimera Tech's all machines, or is it Cyber Dragon plus machines? Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon plus machines. Cyber Dragon monster or Cyber Dragon? Cyber, Cyber Dragon. Dragon monster. What? Okay. Which Chimera Tech? One of... Oh, wait, the yeah. The all machine sorry. one, is it... I think that's just Cyber yeah, Dragon. that's yeah. just Cyber Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your opponent can't make it with a set. That's what 
Yeah. It, it honestly, it didn't matter. I thought the game was going to be a lot harder than it had been. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he did um, have a very bad hand to what he was playing into. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. Um, so yeah, the addition of Savage on that board is just so delicious. <laughs> um, and there was a bunch of shit that I just never but even dragon, needed to see. Like the pot it. of greeds were there, it was fine. Um, but then like the Nightmare Mermaid in the extra deck never got to see play. I had the Corrupted Ibley in the extra, um, not the extra, in the main to do shenanigans. Oh wait, no, you get locked to darks, not machines. Correct. Because I was like, if your opponent activates Clockwork Knight, do, are you still in open season where you can summon shit out of your extra deck because it's all machines when it hits field? Or does it still check as it's in it the does, extra deck? It doesn't care. Okay. I'm just saying if you activate Crescendo, you lock to machines. If Clockwork Knight's on the field, does everything you're summoned just become machines so you can just summon? No, because it still looks at it in the extra and goes, that's okay. not a machine. Because I was like, is it the opposite ruling to they can be only one and goes and match where it's like, no, it checks on field, not, yeah, not on, on summon. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there was a bunch of stuff in there I didn't end up using. So the Mermaid never got to see play. I did have a Corruptor in the main deck. Um, not that it would have really done a lot to a lot of people, if anything, just would have given them more Link Fodder. <laughs> um, and then I had uh, a Brilliant Fusion package uh, in the deck as well, just to whack snow in the graveyard for further shenanigans. Also never came up, um, which is a shame because Brilliant Fusion is such a beautiful card. Because yeah. you've got to play it plants. Yeah, I just didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> um, the scrap package um, did whoop, so whoop, much whoop, work. Whoop. Scrap Wyvern is a bonkers card, yeah. and I love it. Yeah. The only thing I would have changed is I might have cut a one of my dings, maybe, in order to add an Apple Dooza, because there were points where I just had all of this material on the board and, like, fuck all to do with it. Yeah, so but you might didn't well. play grass. No, I didn't feel the need to play grass. Because there's, there's too many one card things in Orcus that you need to get out of the deck before you do anything and by yes. that point you've already cycled out a bunch of shit in the deck anyway um, but yeah I was really happy with how the deck performed today uh, I never in. got to use any of my hand traps um, I had an interesting lineup because I thought that oh, in, you're going to tell I, us you're I going thought to that in perm was that. banned um, so I put in one that got hyped a long time ago but never saw play Hyped a long time ago, never... No material. Correct. <laughs> Didn't I say... I... Wait. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Paid $280 for my playset. At least someone... I mean, at least it comes up eventually. I think I've used no material like twice. I had it in my hand once, and yeah, just never... I've used Warning Point more than I've used no material. <laughs> <laughs> warning Point is a good card. It should see more play. Um, so yeah, that was today. Uh, so we ended up winning today. Oh, there um, we go. Yep, yep, I was yeah, yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I said it was in the finals. Um, and then uh, I didn't pull any ultis in my pack, but Billy from our locals pulled the last brand of fusion that I needed to source. So mm. I've got that now. So I have my playset of ulti brand of fusions. So now I just need some thrusts. I need to get some. I still need to get ulti cherries. Yeah, you've been wanting those for a while now. It's great, great card. It's hand trap. It's me speeding the cherry pit out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and then in the uh, Duelist Cup, I pivoted off of Kashtira, Tyrell Men, Thunder Dragon, Bistugal Pile, uh, onto an old favorite, or I'll say an old favorite, a recent favorite of mine, uh, Dogmatica Ritual. <laughs> Uh, it's quite good with Lulu because it means you can get your Ecclesia in the end phase and do all that nonsense. Being able to send half the extra deck is always really funny. Mm. Uh, the only thing it's missing from like the actual build, I need to put an Iris Sword Soul in there in case I needed to use Ecclesia earlier that turn. Yeah. And that way the um, Lulu has something to do in the end phase. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah. Is that, is that Master Jewel done? Yes. Three pot agreed. Yes. How was it? Really good. Yeah. Except. I only ever saw Spins. one in my deck because it was 60 cards. I wasn't likely to see a lot of them. Yeah. Um, but it was there. Um, drew me into some... Uh, was that a pot of greed? 
no, that wasn't a pot of green. But I imagine it would have saved the same purpose because my uh, recycler got impermed in, I think, the first game. Mm. And then I uh, crescendo drew to, got the foolish, got to send the um, thing to do full combo anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I could see it being a problem if it ever came back. Like, I don't think realistically it could ever come back. In my game, my last game, so I'm playing Seb, I'm going second, I've pretty hard bricked. I'm like, four frogs and a pot of greed. I'm like, here we go. This better fix my hand. Activate pot of greed, draw a fifth frog and another pot of greed. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'll hopefully this one fixes my hand, draw another frog and uh, rap here. I'm like, <laughs> just rap here by itself does not fix my hand. I get one drawer off a Dagusto Emerald. That's it. Yeah. Damn. Oh, well, Pottery sucks, apparently. Uh, yeah. I mean, in 60, if, if it was a bigger deck size, it would be fine, I guess. And that's what you were saying. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's yeah. Friday 40. It's just I'm playing 16 cards that I'd rather not see. Yeah. Any of the other 20... What's the rare math now? Any of the other 21 cards in my deck that I see do something and I'm just like nope cool done so yeah I mean random draws are it's RNG it's uh, bad like, I also on that got uh, maxi so I gave said like oh, yep, 15 yep. cards because I was like Ooh. what are you gonna do set 5 pass <laughs> <laughs> it is a good point actually like true Draco can only do so much with so many yeah. like there is a point where you max them out and it's not even like they've got the field spell because I banned that shit. He drew Rogeki and I was like, oh no, my one Dryden. <laughs> ah. Uh, I mean, it's all right. So, in saying that, so yeah, you just, after playing with it, you don't think it can come back? Ever. No. No. Same with you, Ben? There's yeah, too yeah. many strong cards around it to give, like, the top decks that level of consistency. Yeah. Oh well. Good to know. What about Maxi? <laughs> no. I don't ever want to see that card in the TCG. People can stop whinging about it. The cards, yeah, after ludicrously getting, broken. Getting to play with it and master it all, I'm just like, I'm good. We got Nib. This isn't needed. We got Nib. I mean, Nib's kind of bad now, but yeah, no, not kind of, pretty, but it'll be good again. It's actually not too bad at the moment. Yeah, Nib's pretty good at the moment. Not if you can just turn the to token or whatever you want and keep going depends on when you nib yeah you just gotta hold on to nib past summon seven just gotta wait wait gotta be patient and the problem with max e is too is like you're drawing into cards yeah, like Nibiru yeah, but yeah. then you're also drawing into the effect veiler for the negate that they've set up to stop you from being able to Nibiru or the imperm not as him he'll just be drawing frogs <laughs> <laughs> Drawing useless frogs. <laughs> Make flip flop a hand trap. The worst part was I had subs the toad as well. I'm just like, any of these cards were useful. I could probably get combo here, but no. Deeply need more, unfortunate. Need more frog support. Yep. I need frogs that cycle frogs out of my head. Yeah, frog hand traps, frog recyclers, frog extenders. <laughs> all of it. Where my frogs at? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, moving on to some news. Uh, a bit has happened this week. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to find the nicest thing to start off with. Um, Bologna. So, uh, last week we were uh, halfway through YCS Bologna when we were doing the pod. Yes. Uh, so, we now have the final results. Uh, so, top 64. We have 14 Diablo Star Rescue Ace. 10 tier elements, um, unknown amounts of how many of those were playing Horus Package, uh, 9 Labyrinth, 6 Unchained, uh, falling down from its quite high representation in the earlier uh, part of the event, mm. uh, Diablo Star Viking at 4, as mm. well as Centurion uh, 1 with Horus, known, uh, 4 of those, 4 Pearly, 2 of which with Sprite, 2 Vanquish Soul, 1 of which with Horus, uh, two Diablo Star Makunko, two Branded Chimera, one Branded Despia, one Bistical Runic, one Bistial Dragon Link, one Diablo Star Infernoble Knight, one Kashtira, one Marincess, and one Therion 
Sun Avalon Rika. And Bestial Runic won it all. It did. And this just goes to show the obnoxiousness of Branded Regained. Yeah. Is it worth discussing in a We're forbidden in limited list? We did. We did. I did. I said that card should be banned. Because it is just a fucking resource loop that cannot continue. However, Runic's bad. We need ban Runic cards. Yeah, I I believe I also said to either limit or ban the field spell. Limit the tip. But if you kill the fountain, isn't the whole thing... The whole deck dies. Yeah, it's, it's all over. Like, Yeah. You kind of... Put it to one. I mean, they did talk. One tip, one fountain. Yeah, make it super difficult, but don't kill it dead. Maybe kill... Like, I get why you want to kill it dead. Here's the thing. It's not a good deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, punishing your opponent for playing and actively not playing yourself because in order to do that, you need to skip your battle phase is not a good strategy that deserves to survive. It can fuck off forever. I did really enjoy the fact, though, that in the final, Joshua was like, oh, my hand is good enough that I'm just not going to use any runic cards and hope I can kill you on turn three. And his opponent forced him to use a runic card, and he was like, okay, I will re-establish the same board, and we'll see if you can make it to turn five. And his opponent could not. Like, I really enjoyed that, where it's like, you use the Baron, use the Baron to gate, and then because you have to use a runic card, he's like, okay, Stand by phase, Baron, go back, bring your card back, make the Baron again. Now try and beat it again. <laughs> yeah. This can't continue. They need to go. Uh, the four Fire Kings, because I'm pretty sure from what I remember of when you had the total number of decks from last week. No Fire King representation. Yeah, it was, the, it was below that, and still four of them to get through the top <laughs> 64. It's pretty good. It's still very early days for that deck too, um, both for people playing the deck not really knowing sort of like their lines of play effectively, and yeah. also for the opponents not knowing exactly what they do. So going forward, it will be interesting to see just how much representation slash conversion there is for the deck. Sure, they all, all the Unchained players just switch. I Why would they switch? To... Just become better. They just destroy. Become a chicken. Destroy. Yeah. They're very different though. Ah, uh, they destroy. Well, they will crave to. They they will now join the fire. King. They were they were in the fire before. Yeah, true. They had fires before. Yeah, they did. Um, but now they want more. Yeah, it did true. come first. They built the island before anything was chained up. Wait. Was Viking Island before or after Unchained? Before. Unchained is sure, yeah, to links. No, it's like two years apart. Yeah, Unchained's a link archetype. I thought, been... I thought, I think Island's like only like a five year old card. No, Unchained came out like after the first Link of Reigns pack. Yeah. Which is like 2018. And, Fi- oh, and Fire King's been around since 2016? Fire King Island was 2016. Yeah. Fire yeah. Kings themselves were. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Like, Fire Kings are well and beyond. But I was like, oh, maybe yeah. the island wasn't there. So, I mean, they didn't build the island because the island wasn't there. Island was ship. Um, they were all just standing on a beach somewhere. They definitely weren't in the water. No. Yes. Well. They were at the Fire King Resort. They're at the Fire King Airport on the Fire King mainland waiting to get uh-huh. to Fire King Island. It's Fire King Island just Tasmania. Could be. No, it's the wrong shape. It's a crescent moon. It also has a volcano on yeah, it. Yeah, there. there's no more. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's not go. I there. mean, you could you could tell me there was a volcano on Tasmania. I would just believe you. you I see, d- that would make it interesting. <laughs> Look, I've heard Tasmania is lovely. So apologies if any of our listeners are lovely but cold. Yeah, I've heard that too. That is quite cold. Which I mean, I like the cool. But when, I was like the fire. When most of your tourism is driven by it, it's haunted. Yeah. Typically, oh, I'm yeah, not yeah. going to have much respect for it. Here's where Australia's largest massacre happened. Actually, yeah, no, it was the, the world at the time, wasn't it? No, I don't think so. Uh, by a single shooter. Maybe. Anyway, moving on to uh, something <laughs> Wasn't else. expecting to go Almost there. anything else. Uh, so, for That's the... That's what gets us demonetized this week. <laughs> Did we get demonetized last week? Yes. For... Well, we can't say it again. 
Oh, true. Yeah. Anyway, um, so moving on, we have uh, an announcement for the upcoming uh, regional and OC OTS championship uh, events moving forward. Uh, the mats have changed, and they are now yet again pushing the Promethean Princess. I thought that was the those were coming later. I thought we were getting that play mat in like in February when the new set releases. Well, I imagine we are. It's from Phantom Nightmare. Did, they, did these announcements just drop off in the last few months? Like, did we miss a few announcements? Yeah, I feel like it. Because, like, that Nightmare Magician one really spun me. When I'm like, oh, sweet, that's... Well, I remember that one getting announced at the very beginning. Oh, okay. But well, I don't know announced... what happened after that. I don't know what Mac we got in between that. I can't remember. In Vikings, the Pyro Searcher searches the new card we don't have here. Mm. Okay. Okay. Or it searches Ash, which searches that card. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, we're still okay, waiting okay. on, yeah, two, yeah, two cards. Okay, that's okay, because I was like, hold up, am I going to need that ASAP? But no, I've got a little bit of time. No. Plenty, plenty. A little bit of time. Now we have some new cards that have been announced for Legacy of Destruction. Uh, we start with the Silent Force cards, uh, so they get a new version of Sephira, mm. the Deity of Dragons. Uh, don't talk, talk, talk about S Force. No, no, no. Silent I did. Force. Silent Force. Do we know their name yet? For TCG? Yeah. I mean, not officially, I don't think. Yeah, they, they, didn't put, they didn't put on the... I would know if they put on the website. Or would I? I don't know anymore. Uh, so if it's Ritual Summoned and you have the main deck one, Novox, or whatever its name is, yeah. um, you can draw two cards and discard a card. Um, oh, Field or Graveyard, that's handy. Um, and then when an attack is de oh. de declared involving a light warrior or dragon ritual, uh, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Mm. Uh, once per turn during the opponent's end phase, add a light monster from your graveyard to your hand. Is that a second effect once per turn? Uh, Surely. First, second, and third effects are once per turn. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I was like, hold up. <laughs> you attack with a wall of rituals, you've just won the game. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, and then they get a continuous spell. Uh, target one of your Silent Force monsters that is banished on your grave, except itself, and add it to the hand. If a non-ritual monster is normal or special summon face up, you can ritual summon one light warrior or dragon. One ritual summon one light warrior or dragon ritual yep. monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand at all field whose total levels equal or exceed that monster's level. And if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Yay. I mean, being able to that chain block reading. and summon a ritual within the one effect seems good. And like, it's not even like super specific on what you need to normal summon. Yeah. It's just... Dragon. You summon something, chain, do the thing. Um, I've watched a couple replays of this deck, and it makes targeting negation hilariously ineffective. Because they just always have Saravas. Because like you pitch it and then something else adds it back and then you do it again. It's really fucking funny. Yeah. No one targets me anymore. Nope, just Nibiru's. But apparently they're bad. Why no one targeting anymore? Because <laughs> like, it just seems to be like we're not really in a targeting matter at the moment. So, yeah. They're definitely, it's definitely something you'd want it to have. Hmm. Just At the very least, you play around it. Uh, but then more, ex uh, yeah, I'd say more excitingly, we have the newest support for the Melodious Archetype. That's what gets us demonetized this week. Oh, God. Um, so, they get a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go too deep into it. They but get pendulum monsters. Yeah, pendulum. they get two pendulums that when they're used for certain things, they put themselves in scale. Uh, they get uh, two new fusions. Yeah, yeah, two new fusions, one well, of which means you can't negate any of their effects. Yeah. Uh, the other one uh, banishes up to three Melodious monsters you control, and then you banish the same number of cards your opponent controls, except your stuff comes in back in the end phase and your opponent's doesn't. Um, can be changed in a bureau. Can be changed in a bureau, and then it stays in hand, and it's funny. Um, so, in the bureau again, later. again, the replays I've watched of this, um, like, it's nothing super bonkers, it's just solid support. Yeah. It's just. It's just good. The fact that they have, they have cards like First Movement Solo makes yeah, all this stuff um, like very Ostinato real. and First Movement Solo make this stuff kind of bonkers because they're not once per turn and they just like start the whole combo on their own. I should still have all that stuff laying around somewhere. You'd imagine so. I looked it up today. There's nothing above an Ultra. Yeah, but like ideally I'd still have it. 
Because I remember first moving solos for a while were like $15 a pop. And I'd imagine they're even higher now. You would think so. It looks like a fun deck. I'm kind of keen to play it. But we'll see. It's like not a super complicated deck, so maybe I can learn it. Um, Lachlan's keen. Oh, then never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, we also get a new archetype, uh, mm -hmm. which is... Well, actually, the name's been heavily debated. I've seen, like, at least four or five different names for... What Mahjong deck. Yeah, let's let's call them the Mahjong Dragons. Uh, the, why is it dark mode? I'm getting really thrown off by the fact that why is your organization in dark mode on Jake's phone? I just want to point that out. I like it. Like, I'm not knocking it. It's just making me very uncomfortable, because I'm like, you're getting your news from somewhere new. I don't I'm like getting it, it from Jake. the... <laughs> Oh god, here we go. Um, but anyway, I'm getting it from the dark web, it's fine. Uh, so there are a bunch of fire dragons, uh, and for once it's not... Like, it, they all revolve around battle, but for once it's not bad. Uh, the main reason for that is the field spell. Um, fire dragon monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects during your main phase 1. So it forces them to go into the battle phase in order to interact with you. Uh, in which case they do all bunch of quick synchro summoning kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, they make use of, I can't remember what it is, I want to say it's like Tri Lightning Dragon or something, a super old Dragon Synchro that like pops two cards on summon and then if it does it can attack any number of times and then like some of their other cards do attack boosts, so like they attack for a stupid amount of damage. I've, again, watched replays and through Prosperity they're still able to OTK. Oh, sick. <laughs> like, and getting rid of, like, a way to make the battle phase great. I guess we never really approached this as just have main phase one floodgate. <laughs> yeah. You know, do anything to me until the battle phase. See, that's that's all uh, War Rock needs. War, yeah. <laughs> this card's going to get mixed with War Rock. Well, yeah. no, they're, they're dragons. They're, they're just, and, yeah, they're, they're infinitely they're the better. They're the warriors of the law. So you're saying that War Rocks are fighting the. Um, I was about to say Yahtzee dragons, that's not it. Mahjong. Yeah. Yes. Why just wouldn't they law, be? Lore update Look, coming the, soon. I mean, the way to beat a Mahjong title is just smash it with a rock. Yes. <laughs> Lore rock smash. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also get a couple of cards announced from the promotional pack for 2024 from the OCG. Hey, he's been shrugging off over there. Just doing some of these. Yeah, doing a few. It's called giving thumbnail options. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, we <laughs> so we get a rank four, which is the weirdest piece of removal I've ever seen. Uh, so two plus level fours, unaffected by other cards' effects. Uh, if it's Xyz summoned, or once during the standby phase, or during your standby phase, attach the top three cards of your deck to this card's material, and then apply these following effects. If it has four or less monsters Just on it, confuse the ever -living give fucker. control of this card to your opponent. Five or more, take 400 damage for each material currently attached to this card, and if you do, destroy all monsters you control. And you apply each effect in the sequence. Yeah? Or no, uh, it just does one effect because this makes apply this effect based on the number of monsters it has as material. Uh, yeah, good question. Surely it's meant to say in sequence, and then it changes to your opponent, then blows everything up. You'd assume so, but here we are, not like, knowing. Otherwise, the card literally does nothing. Mm. It has to be a mistranslation. You would think so. I read it so many times, and I was like, "This has to be mistranslated." Yeah, it. It's like. It would have to be pass it to the opponent, then get the material, then that's when the other one comes into effect, right? I, like, I was very impressed here. I thought Jake had zoomed in on the picture of the card to try and translate and it himself. He, he no, no, like, no, no, no. I was I'm, like, I'm looking at the artwork because the artwork is bonkers. It's like yeah, it's cool artwork. a donkey with a cat playing a banjo and I'm going to say a chicken. And I'm going to assume there's a fourth thing in there because of the name. It's always chickens. Um, and then we get a couple other cards. Uh, the life rest of hack. Them suck. Oh yeah, terrible. Um, like so this... that first one was the only one that seemed like it had any applicable effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like this one in particular, heaps of beasts. A fucking terrible card. Um, so yeah, I'm not even going to be bothering to read those out. Um, this translation. <laughs> you look. You'd have to assume so because otherwise, it's just a completely it's redundant itself. card. Yeah. <laughs> um, At the low, low cost of. Four monsters. 
Yeah. Who wouldn't want to do that? Sounds appealing to me. But anyway, uh, moving on to our Discord. Before oh. we move in, I just want to quickly mention the Jewel Links ban list. Oh, fuck me. Alter Guy spoofing got um, put to two. Interesting. Uh, for Rush Jewels, though, there is now five dragon cards that are all limited to three. So now when you build a dragon deck, you have to... You have to be specific Girl, about which dragon Yeah, you want. it's basically, it's like they're telling you, don't play Dragigas. <laughs> But everything is going to revolve around Dragigas. Yeah, and so the one of the tribute summonings, the one of the sports dragons, they got hit. Um, the other clear ice, which goes in with it, and then the piercing dragon, which was just a free handout. So I get that's why they hit it. Um, and then seahorse carrier, the weird looking horse. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that thing. Don't you want to play that? No. But yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. It's. It was just a generic tribute material. It was like old. actually that one's one that was based on like the OG um, yep. seahorse thing yep. that was in the recent archetype that's bad yes yes but it's good in this well it's good as the it just lets you tribute summon but and he just went uh, yeah kind of weird to do that stuff to your dragon decks because we're just going to keep playing through Jigigas and go alright these three cards you just why like, you've killed the sports the pitcher engine because you have to keep the Dragigas in so that in two years when they get the fusion support yeah you have to have the Dragigas there yeah it's like I get like oh and they didn't touch seven roads at all well, again you can't touch seven yeah. roads <laughs> because you've got all of the support coming in two years yeah oh but even like to one maybe or to one would help because then you'd be able to play it with the other fucking dragons this is so boring Let's continue Look, no, we doesn't. sat through Melodious. Yeah, because it's relevant. What if they ever import the card game across, Jake? Then you'll have to know. No one will. In the great merging of 2024. <laughs> That's also not happening. We also get right. <laughs> That's yeah, it's not happening. They finally stop printing R Speed Duel and start printing Rush Duel. Yeah. <sighs> A man can dream. If, if, if they announce 5 days Speed Duels, I'm going to, like, Throw it in and then feel alive. <laughs> going fast doesn't make you feel alive in that case. Yeah. Mm. So, what's going on in our Discord, Jake? Ah, <laughs> so we have some questions. Sorry, I was about to fall asleep talking about fucking rush doors. Uh, I took two doors. minutes. I got through that so fast. You did. Doesn't help that I'm very tired. Anyway, yeah. first question this week comes to us from 6 r 6 Outside of money cards you don't immediately want in your deck, how do you decide what cards to keep versus what to sell? Do you have a profit threshold? Sell as per meta requirements? Collect a playset and sell the, re the rest, I should say? I sell anything that's worth money that I do not ever see myself using, and I do not sell anything else. Um... I haven't sold anything like super expensive in a while, which I'm very proud of because um, before Jaker used to buy expensive cards, uh, run out of money, and then have to sell expensive cards. So I haven't had to do that in a very long time. So yeah. I'm very happy about that. Um, otherwise, it's just like, yeah, keeping stuff I feel is relevant and yeeting the rest. And like, if Melodious had expensive older cards, I would probably start looking for those. But I don't think those exist yet, other than maybe the Ostinados and the first movement solos. Yeah. But I don't I think if anything, actually it'll know be if I have any. First movement solo will be expensive. Yeah, I feel like Ostinados only a rare at best. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a common. But yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, every so often when a new archetype gets an announced and it's like tying in with old stuff, I'll have a look through the collection, see if I've got play sets of old stuff. Um, I haven't been that good with that lately though, has to be said. Like, I feel like I would have had a whole bunch of wave hiking Caesars that I probably could have yeeted for like I, six bucks each. That should have done the same, yeah. Two common reprints for, uh, two common prints for Austin, aren't okay. Yeah, so it's first so movement solo is where the money is. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what that is that on TCG player. And then Bragg never sells a single card. Yeah, so. I was going to say, Correct. no comment. <laughs> the only time he ever sells is when he knows that we have a card that we want. And then he's happy to work yeah, this out if, or let us borrow or whatever. Yeah, for the most part, it's like if if like, yeah, if you're looking for a card and they insist that they want to own it, I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll sell it. 
and then I'll watch its price go up and I'll be like, you should never have sold it. <laughs> and then I watch its price go down and then I go, you should never have sold it. <laughs> Just never, I like, should never have kept it. Like, I don't know. I like going through the oh, stuff. First and sold in like a buck fifty at the moment. Hoddle! <laughs> buy out. True. How many, how many Jump on stock? eBay and buy a bunch. It, for importable stock is out of stock. Ah, um, we missed the window. In fairness, the window's been open for two yeah. days. <laughs> yeah. Well, a few hours of recording. It is 3 a.m. It's always 3 a.m. Despite the fact there's light probably on my face. Yeah, from the from our beautiful studio lights. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Uh, next question comes to us from Ragai. Ignoring normal monsters, what do you think is the worst type of card in Yu-Gi-Oh? Gemini. Uh, can't type it. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. It pretty much has to be Gemini's, right? Um. But they kind of count as normal monsters. This whole gimmick. Well, is. yeah. That's the whole. Th- they're just so fucking slow. And their one attempt at making them decent was those fucking chemi critters. And even then, they did nothing. The field nothing. spell is great. The field spell is great. The rest, the of, it rest is of it is garbage. The rest of it is garbage. trash. Absolute fucking trash. And they tried to bring support in for it, I think it was like a year ago, and it also did nothing. Because nothing's better than Catalyst Field. Actually, their other spell is not that bad for that deck. The new, like, fucking lab work deck, or whatever, card, whatever it's called. I think that's the card I'm thinking of because it searches card. it either searches Catalyst Field or it sets it, it, I believe it activates Catalyst Field and then gives you a second summon which see like if you gave any other like mechanic or archetype the ability to search their field spell not even and search activate from deck their yeah. field spell and give them another normal summon they'd be busted yeah but then you give it to fucking Gemini's and they still limp to a board. I believe, does it lock you in the Kami Critters to stop you from using your gear free stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, is it speaking of the Gemini Joey stuff, yeah? Uh, yeah, some of it, yeah. Speaking of limping towards the finish, holy shit. Gear free stuff? <laughs> I was questioning myself. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, let's have Stop a look. Da, 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 da. You should never question yourself, Ben. Always believe. Next question, Jake. Next question comes to us from, again, 6 r 6 Do you grade cards? Do you think grading is a good idea for YGO if you think a card may become collectible? Or is nothing collectible other than original archetypes, such think, as Blue Eyes, DM, yeah, and Hero? I think anything that you're going to pull and get graded nowadays is not worth grading. <laughs> Unless you're cracking, like, OG set packs. If you're cracking old product, by all means, be ready and prepped, ready to go. And even then, like, I feel like similar to Pokemon, the sealed old product, if you happen to have it, is still worth way more than, yeah. like, a DM would be if you pulled it out of the set. Right. Yeah. I have a PSA 10 Buster Blader. You do? It cost me $20. See, the only things I would ever consider getting graded are, like, cards that are, like, sentimental that I know I'd just probably never get rid of. Like, if I ended up ever getting the Super uh, World Championship Parrot Dragon that I've had my eyes on for a very, very long time, I'd probably get that graded. Yeah. And then it'd, like, just sit. Comes back as a 7. Wouldn't surprise me. It's such an old, uh, like, World Championship card. The condition of it would be abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> it would be so bad. Um, yeah, there's nothing else that I'd really... Like, I wouldn't... The issue with staples is, like... Like, even the, like, Starlight Staples and stuff like the Apple Losers, the IPEs, the Lightning Storms and stuff They're like more that. Useful They're useful the slab. Exactly. Like, people will pay more for them if they can use them. I remember, not exactly the same, but I remember for Pokemon, Lewis wanted, like, a full art of a trainer. And it was cheaper to buy, like, a PSA 9 and crack it than it was to buy someone's, like, ready copy. Yeah. And then he was like, how do I crack these? <laughs> I remember that being, like, a hassle. <laughs> It is a bit of a pain in the ass because you risk damaging the card. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? A little bit. Um, so you stop people from being able to replace the cards inside. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you you said you've got the Buster Blade. Have you got any slabs? No. No. Neither do I. I I would for Thousand Eyes eventually, but even then, eh, bad. Doesn't do anything for me. A lot of the enjoyment I have is like the cards that I play like yeah. if we had a like a really good respected grading 
company That's, in the yeah. world. I even PSA. I don't. You can show me PSA ten, and I'll be like, yeah, sure. I understand the value and how the market for it works, but me personally, I do not give a shit because I, I know those valuers don't know what they're talking about. I only talk care about PSA tens. Like, like any literally anything else, I'm like, I could not give two fucks. So like, you can tell me the intricate grading systems of Beckett and how it's better than PSA because they go to the micro grain and I'm like I, I literally don't care like it's just a presentation thing for yeah. it to have the whole PSA branding and everything and it goes with what your brain would associate a graded card looking like so when therefore that's Beckett, what I want yeah. <laughs> I would be tempted by Beckett just purely because of reading their magazines growing up yeah it's fu- it's it's but only a, of that like it I mean it could be like Beckett 10 I'd be like it's not because of that it's just the word Beck. like they could just not even have a marking on it see that's the that's a funny thing you brought up that like for your mind it's more so the legacy and the nostalgia of reading the Beckett mags they'd be like yep I would get a Beckett graded card yeah. for that reason and then like PSA have just come in and I feel like it's just a marketing thing or maybe just like a mass thing that like people were sending stuff to them for the longest time yep. that like for some people that's their go to and whatever it's, the Aussie one was Oh, the fucking... Don't give a start on it. Yeah, no. Like, yeah, it's just the fact that you can crack it, resubmit it, and it gets a different, like, a different ranking. And me, like, it's, that's happened way too much for me to go it, yeah. that there's any Isn't sort of... Isn't that the only reason that Logan Paul has a PSN, PSA 10 Charizard? So, yeah, and they probably did it for the promotion, right? Cherry Collectibles has a PSA 9 Toon Summon Skull on their website? For six hundred dollars? Oh my god, no! If you bought it, I can guarantee to you it would show up as a PSA three. Yeah. Get it? Because they send the wrong thing. Oh, I thought they would just send. They just, They always send skull. the worst version. <laughs> they just send you starter deck Yugi Summon Skull, and instead of the PSA thing, it just being like a fucking zip, one of those Ziploc cards. bags. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were to say that they're doing grading now. Oh, okay, cool. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Every pack that guy opens, like, oh, that's a PSA 10. Oh, that's a CC 10. Oh, yeah, that's a CC 10. Oh, Maybe we should CC. do cowboy that's grading. <laughs> cowboy for grades. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, no... But, like, let's not go on a scale of 1 to 10, though. Let's go abstract and go... No, it's all a scale of 10 to 10. Every card yeah. you send us will be a 10. Yeah. And the, the paperwork will say a 10. Yep. Every card. Why don't we just do just your say, cards for They'll say ten can't wait for grades. But it won't say what the ten is out of. It's always ten, yeah. Yeah, just always says ten. Doesn't say if it's ten out of ten, can ten out one, of a thousand. Can we have one go to eleven? Nah. And no, that's ridiculous, Bracket. No, just do elevens, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you suggest that. Yeah. That's so ridiculous. If you send in jackpot seven, yeah. it gets a seven. That's the only time it gets a seven. Seven complete gets a seven. It goes to 11. Now's the part where I check whether or not PSA 7 7 complete exists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'll be. Imagine if there's only three of them in the world. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, let's just keep doing that. Just submit PSA. Yeah, PSA 7. Yeah, just keep just submitting submit 7 completed. Plus... <laughs> oh, Which, Jesus. It comes back as a 9. You're like, oh, let's, let's cut this corner a little bit. <laughs> there's a way to search their website. <laughs> Rough it up a little. Yeah. Uh, it comes back too low. It comes back a six. Fuck! Hey, hey Logan, you want to play? <laughs> Get this the next Log- copy. <laughs> Logan, I need you to play Jackpot Seven for a day. Or Blake. How do? You... How do you oh, search God. on their website? I feel like we're getting a bit too uh, deep in the thicket here. Hey, um, I still think an abstract ranking. Honestly, just like or do it as a presentation where like, I can think a few like uh, a few art people on Instagram and Etsy have like frames and stuff for it so you could just almost do go that way and just go oh it's like no a- i have it i have it i have it the great you can't see the grading until after you've cracked it yeah so you it's just- like hidden under the first plastic so you can't actually access what number it is yeah until after the package has been broken so if you search <laughs> psa 7 complete it thinks you have prostate cancer <laughs> look it's as a serious concern yeah good time as any check up on it i mean i imagine most of us are too young for it oh well, i'm getting on we're getting there yeah uh, anyway that we still conclude. have to go to the doctors right this yeah. hasn't changed in the last in the 10 years that i was like going fuck i hope they fix that before i get that old 
Anyway. We, we can't avoid it. That will conclude us for this week. The digits uh, are happening. They don't do an ultrasound. <laughs> that will conclude us for this week. Sure Thank you. Home kit. Right in All front of it. Very much Highest for listening and watching. Um, next week will be our end of year special, uh, so make sure you tune in for that. Um, Favourite us on Spotify and the like. Like and subscribe if you're on YouTube, and we'll catch you all next week. Thanks a lot. Peace. Bye.